Welcome back to Master Your Ash. I'm your host, Michael Prisdale, and today I will be smoking the 20 Acre Farm by Drew Estate. This is a 6x52 Toro, and it is part of a brand new collection released by Drew Estate. Ecuadorian Shade Grown Wrapper, Honduran Habano Binder, and fillers grown from both Esteli Jalapa in Nicaragua, along with Florida Sun Grown Tobaccos from the 20 acre farm that Drew Estate has in Florida. Beautiful white band on it. Really, really nice. Really, really nice. Trying to get it to stick back on there, but I'm having issues. So I'm just gonna take it off for right now. I'm gonna remove the band because we're having issues keeping it on there. There's definitely some nice cloves, some cinnamon, all of those wonderful baking spices that we would familiarize or, or associate with uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas time and different festivities. Um, those baking spices are all present. There's a little hint of citrus on the finish, but in between, there's definitely some grassy cedar notes, ton of um, wonderful kind of leather spice, and um, almost, yeah, almost like a little slight, slight kind of meat flavor to it. But I'm gonna smoke through the first third and I'll be back. We are back and we are moving right along on this FSG. 20 acre farm by Drew Estate and it is burning true to form. Really, really nice burn line and ash going on here. I uh, I have to say that um, I had to double check. <laughs> I had to double check my good buddy Cigar Hound Dog's video because he had previously reviewed the FSG by Drew Estate and um, he was talking about smoked meat. And I said on the first third initially that I had picked up a little bit of smoked meat and sure enough, when I rewatched his video, he did say <laughs> that it was one of the more unique style sticks in a Connecticut shade because of how much of that, um, how much of that smoked meat he picked out. So, so far, really, really nice notes. The ash is holding true to form. The cigar is smoking really, really well. There is that like underlying smoked meat that I kind of caught about midway through the first third and has been kind of lingering on there ever since that I really, really like. It's kind of cool to see a Connecticut shade stick. And I remember smoking the FSGs and I remember smoking the um, Herrera Esteli Miami series. And both of those did have a little bit of a smoked meat kind of flavor, but it is also very, very unique with a Connecticut shade because it is a very mild smoke smoke um, with that shade wrapper. So this is kind of fun and unique. I really, really like it. I'm digging it so far. I'm going to smoke it down and I'll be back. Now, I want to take a second for in this video just to shout out to Cigar Hound Dog. I know I just said that I previously, you know, double checked this video just to make sure that I was picking up a similar note to what he was, which was that smoked meat essence. But he was nice enough over this past week to send me a little cigar bomb. So I just kind of wanted to showcase this little bomb here, go through what he had sent me in the mail. Thank you for the LFD football. This is really cool. I really appreciate that. Um, a little tatuaje, the Mexican Experiment ME cigar by Tatuaje. Thank you. The uh, Boofy Room 101 Limited LBD, which was the Valentine's Day release for this year. Thank you very much for the LBD. Another Boofy special, the Johnny Tobacco Nut. And I saw Boofy at the uh, trade show for <clears throat> the, the one that just passed the TPE trade show out here in Vegas. So that was really, really cool. Thank you so much. have an H. Upman Habana. So a little Cuban. Thank you very, very much. I really appreciate this. You know that I'm a big Cuban fan. And then the favorite, the Escosos, the Tatuaje Brown Label Escosos. You know, this is one of the, one of the premier Tatuajes in Bellicoso format. Very, very nice. A little La Aurora Cameroon. Very, very cool stick. Thank you so much for that. That's an awesome smoke. 
looking forward to that. It's been a while. And then another La Aurora in the Figurado. So La Aurora Cameroon, fantastic. He also sent the Regis Selection or Chant. This is a really, really cool looking stick. Selection or Chant. And last but not least, this is the Nazari. And this is from Esteli, Nicaragua. Really, really beautiful looking stick. So thank you, Cigar Hound Dog. Thank you so much, Matt. I really appreciate you sharing the wealth and sharing the love, man. It's always, it's never expected. It's always appreciated. And trust me, I'm, I'm gonna get you back. <laughs> I'm gonna send a bomb and I'm gonna get you back. But this is really, really nice. He also showed me, which isn't featured, um, he sent me a box of sticks, the, uh, the HVC Selectos that I smoked. He sent me, before they were a normal, everyday release, they had a, a little um, Limitada Edition band that came with them. So the one that I smoked that I'll link up here, that HVC box uh, that he sent me was before they became a regular production stick. To my knowledge so thank you so much that is so awesome because i think those probably have like two years of age on them but i wanted to i wanted to preface this this whole entire video where i go over the bomb that cigar, cigar hound dog was so nice enough to send me with a bomb that i'm gonna send out to a lucky individual so this particular pack right here is going to be a Drew Estate giveaway. And this is courtesy of our of our good buddies at Drew Estate for all that they do and for the fact that they're always huge supporters of my show. I wanted to send out a little bomb and I'm gonna go over that bomb. Rules for entry. You have to be obviously smoking age, so 18 years or above in order to be eligible for this particular bomb. I will send this out within the US, so you have to be in the US unfortunately to receive any of the cigars in this package. And the cigars will come packed in this particular this particular uh, bag with the Boveda attached in it, so I'll make sure that those get shipped nice and tight for everybody. <clears throat> the first stick is going to be the Short Robusto Nicarustica. And these I've had on the channel. These are some of my favorite sticks. I really enjoy the Nica line. I really love the rustic kind of shape and feel to it. And I think the Short Robusto is phenomenal. The Undercrown 10 in Robusto. So this is the Undercrown 10. It is the line that is number one consensus cigar of the year for this year. So you're gonna get the Undercrown 10 in not just the Robusto, but you're also going to get it in Toro which I believe is the actual particular size that is getting the number one rating. So you're gonna get the Nika, the Nika Rustica, you're gonna get the Drew Estate 10s in Toro and in Robusto, a three pack of Acid 20s. These are individually wrapped together, so they're not gonna impart any flavor on the pack during shipping, but this is going to be the Connecticut Shade, and then it's going to be the Acid 20s that came out with the Mexican San Andres wrapper in both the Robusto format and in Toro format. So you're gonna get all three Acid 20s that are in current release. This Connecticut is the new one that Frankie and I just filmed. I'll post that video up here so that you can check all of those out. And then, I'm gonna throw in, <laughs> hold on. I'm gonna throw in a 20 acre farm because that's what we're smoking right now. So the 20 acre farm is gonna be part of the pack. You're gonna get that in Toro. And then the final stick to round out the, what do we got here? Three, six, eight cigars in the pack is going to be a, that's right, a Liga Flying Feral Pig. So you're gonna get the Wild Pig in the league as well. All right, so not only are you going to get the giveaway pack, but you are also going to get your choice. You get to only choose one. So it's up to you to make the correct choice. But you can either go with the Master Your Ash Lost Laundry co Collaboration hat, but you get to choose either the Master Your Ash hat, you get to choose the Sticks and Sips Mezcal Minute featuring Joey Drew, Times Lost Laundry, and on the inside you actually have Agave Pinas on the inside of the hat, or you can go with the Lost Laundry, Times the Wizard, Sticks and Sips, with the DE swag on the inside. 
So you get your choice of either the Drew Estate Six and Sips hat, the Mezcal Minute hat, or the Master Your Ash hat. One or the other, right? So the rules have to be 18 years of age or above. You have to live within the continental US. You also have to comment below which stick out of the pack, whether it's the Acid 20, the Liga Flying Pig, the 20 Acre Farm, which is what I'm smoking over here right now for this review, or any of the other sticks that are in there, the UC10s, or even just um, even just the Nica Rustica. What is your what is the stick that you would be looking forward to smoking the most in the pack? So rules are very very simple. You have to be over over 18 in order to enter continental US. You have to comment below which stick you want to smoke the most in the pack, and then I will take about maybe one week from the time that this video releases to capture everybody's comment. And as soon as you comment, I will reach out to uh, you guys at the end of a week with the actual drum roll during a live video. So after a week's time, I will uh, post another video where I pull out the, uh, the random generator for the names and we'll pluck the name live on Instagram I'll post it on YouTube after whatever we got to do. So we have got a really, really nice burn moved right on through the second third into the final third. And what more can be said? I mean, this is just a fantastic cigar. I'm so happy that the sun's out of my face too. <laughs> Had to move. Um, so, so far the second third kind of finished up and moved into the final third, or as we move into the final third, it's, it's finished up tremendously. It still retained a lot of that smoked meat quality that I spoke about earlier, that I said that Cigar Hound Dog also picked up off of the actual cigar itself, but we had this really, really nice citrus note, this really nice creamy cashew kind of flavor to it that is just fantastic. So pairings that I would recommend with the smoke. Well, with this Connecticut shade having that smoked meat kind of essence to it, it opens up the doorway versatility wise to a lot of great things. I think that you can never go wrong with Connecticut shade and rum. I think that there's a lot of fantastic pairings to be had with shade and rum. I also think that there's a lot of great pairings that you can do with gins as well. So for me, I really like the smoked meat essence mixed in with maybe like a a really refreshing gin and tonic. Um, maybe even it to accentuate that creamy component, you could go with something a little bit more like a, um, a white lady or a clover club or even something um, as kind of profound in flavor as like a really nice aviation. I think would be really, really nice as far as a cocktail pairing um, with gin and with this particular cigar. And I think that like the creme de violet would be really, really nice with this. And that's kind of that's kind of what I wanted was just um, something with some cream, maybe some floral components, something like that I think would pair exceptionally well with this particular stick. I would recommend that everybody gives this a shot. I think that it's a box worthy cigar, especially at the price point and just how unique of a Connecticut shade it is. Connecticut shades, we've had them on the channel before and I've always said, you know, it offers great versatility. With this having that smoked meat element, I mean, you can you can start with gin and rum and you can pick this all the way up into some of your heavier pours out there and some of your heavier ABV cocktails. It just has a plethora of things that you can pair with it. Anything from a sour beer all the way to your Madeira sherry cask and ports and stuff like that in between. I mean, it's just like one of those cigars that really stretches the gamut as far as to how many things you can kind of pair alongside it. So that's just a tremendous, option to have in your repertoire and it's just a really versatile smoke that you can pair things with. So please check out the 20 acre farm by Drew Estate. You all know the rules to enter for the giveaway. I will see you all for the next cigar and spirit review. Thank you all so much for watching, liking, subscribing, helping to grow this channel and sharing your passion with my passion.